Hey everybody, welcome to Drew in the moment in the kitchen once again. Um, today we are going to make some delicious coconut macaroons or macarons or however you pronounce them. Um, and we're going to do it a little uh, Easter themed kind of. I'm going to add a few little colors to the macaroons. See how that turns out. I've actually never done it before, but what the heck, man. I'm just going to go for it, you know? Fake it till you make it. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, start off with the ingredients. We're going to start off with two and a half cups of sweetened coconut. Make sure it's sweetened. Basically, sweetened means it has like little tiny pieces of sugar on it, basically. Um, it just won't be as sweet if you use regular shredded coconut. Um, egg whites, you want two egg whites, so two eggs with the egg white. Uh, room temperature, make sure it's room temperature because that is important. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with that and why that's important. Um, we are gonna do one tablespoon of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, just a little bit, and some sweetened condensed milk but the main ingredient like always is my coffee and I just basically wanted to show off my fancy coffee mug I love this thing Robin Hood one of the best um, so that's it for the ingredients but what you will need um, an ice cream scoop I really need one that you press the button and it comes out I just didn't have one but if you have one use one of those but this is to basically make the shape of the macaroon. So, a couple bowls and two sheet pans with parchment paper. Make sure they have parchment paper or your macaroons will stick to it and it will be a nightmare for you. Um, but yeah, so let's get started and do it. So first thing we wanna do, just for time, I like to utilize my time well. So let's turn on the oven to 325. So while you're waiting for that to heat up, you do everything else. Now, um, because I said I'm gonna make like a pink and a yellow, two different kinds of macaroons, um, two different colors rather, I need two different bowls. So, but if you're gonna follow this video or recipe, just keep in mind it's just gonna, all your stuff's gonna go into one bowl. I'm basically splitting all of the ingredients in half into the two bowls so I can get two different colors, just so you don't get confused. Okay guys, so we're going to start off by taking the coconut. I'm gonna put a, about a quarter, uh, excuse me, one and a quarter cups of this in one bowl. So, so half of it into this bowl and the other half into the other bowl. Because I'm splitting it up. Okay, then I'm going to take my sticky, sticky condensed milk and put half of this in here and half of this in the other one. And this stuff is so sticky. All right, so we're gonna start off with this guy. We're gonna make him yellow. Now, let's say four drops in that one. And then we'll do, I'm gonna do a little less I think in this because this is red, but I'm trying to make them pink. So let's start off with two on that. And then we are going to mix. Okay, look at that. That looks nice. Nice and eastery. I like it. All right, now I'm going to take half of that salt. Like I said, it's just a pinch. Maybe um, the total amount of the salt, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon, roughly. All right, and then. We're gonna take the vanilla, and because it was a teaspoon, so we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of vanilla in each. And with the with this, I mean, you could add more or less, depending on your preference. And then just mix that up. Okay, so. We got it all mixed up with the vanilla and the color, looking very Eastery, I think. Um, so now we're gonna take that egg white. 
Now we're going to bring it over to the electric mixer. You will need an electric mixer because um, so we need to basically fluff this thing up. This is like the key ingredient to really make them puffy. So uh, I'm going to show you how we do that. So here we go. We're just going to put the egg whites into the mixer. And then we're going to turn it on high and wait for that to fluff up for take about maybe six to eight minutes. All right, so I think it's done. If I can get the thing on, oh, there we go. Alright, looks pretty good, it's pretty, uh, pretty fluffy. Alright, so let's uh, fold that into our macaroon mixture. Alright, so we got our uh, egg white mixture, so now we're going to take half of it into here, half of it into here, and we're going to fold it, and I'll show you what I mean by fold it. Take it like this. You don't want to mix it. You just want to easily fold it in. Just like so. And then we'll do the same thing with the other one. All right, so now we got all of our uh, macaroon mixture all ready to go. Should look, you know, a little stiff. Uh, we folded that egg white in. Now we're just gonna put them, scoop them onto the um, sheet pans here with the parchment paper. And the way I'm doing it, like I said, I don't have one of those regular scoops, so they're not going to be, it's not as easy, but I mean, here, that's pretty much the gist of it. You're just going to probably put, I'll probably put about eight on here, space them out about two inches, and then we're going to put them in the oven. All right, we did it. So these things are all ready to go in the oven. Um, like I said, I got it set at 325, and we're gonna put it in for about 18 minutes. I always, always go under what they, what the recipe calls for. So we're looking at probably 18 to 22 minutes, roughly, but we're gonna start with 18. So let's go do that. So while we're waiting for the macaroons to get deliciously cooked, I figured I'd take a second and talk with you guys. Um, pretty much uh, my plan for my channel that you're watching right now. Um, as you all know, I do a lot of Disney content. I like to go hang out at Disney. It's a, it's a passion of mine and I'm sure yours as well, most likely if you're watching the video. Um, but because of the recent events going on right now, I'm not sure when I'll be able to get back or when any of us will be able to get back to the awesomeness of Disney World or Disneyland. Um, but I wanted to let you know that baking is a big passion of mine and I figured I'm going to keep rolling out these baking videos. I've already asked you guys a few things that you wanted me to recreate. Um, I think one of them was cinnamon rolls from scratch. We can do that. Um, couple other ones. I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but um, I'm going to get to all of those. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do all of those. And a few gluten-free items for you people that are gluten-free. So I got a, a couple good recipes that, you know, I think you guys will like. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I, like I said, in the foreseeable future and some other wacky things in between that I just want to do on a whim. So. Hope you guys keep watching the videos and enjoying them. And um, like always, just let me know what you guys think of the videos. If they're helpful, if they're enjoyable, maybe what I can do better. I'm okay with criticism as long as it's helpful criticism. <laughs> All right, so the time has arrived for the macaroons to come out. Hopefully I didn't screw it up. All 
All right, they don't look too bad. Not too bad at all. The question is, how do they taste? Mmm, I'm gonna go with the pink one. I'm gonna grab a pink one, ready? Oh yeah. I just like steam coming off freshly baked items. You really should wait until they cool down a little bit, but I'm just too excited. Mmm. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. I'm so happy I didn't screw it up. Because if I screwed it up, then I'd have to do this all over again for, you know, record the whole vlog again. <laughs> yeah. So that's it, guys. That was, uh, that was my, you know, me making Easter macaroons. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Try them yourself. Um, yeah, you can add color or you don't have to add color. Uh, I just wanted to for, you know, the Easter celebration. But, all right. Well, guys, until I see you next time, remember, there's only one way to live. It's in the moment.